in 1569, you have the Union of Lublin when uh, Poland and the Grand Duchy of Lithuania are merged into one single state, the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Um, and from that point on, there is more and more talk about moving the capital city from Krakow, which at that point is in the extreme south of this uh, Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Also, we have a new uh, dynasty in, uh, in, in power. Uh, first off, we should maybe uh, say that uh, the, the, the Dukes of, uh, of Mazovia, uh, their line had went extinct in 1526. Uh, and because of that, Mazovia is incorporated into Poland. Uh, so it, even though relationships had been closed, or, uh, they had previously been a part of Poland uh, in the 11th and, and 12th century. But uh, after this fragmentation of Poland uh, during the 13th and, uh, and 14th century, um, Masovia is once again incorporated into, into Poland. Uh, so uh, it now makes sense to make uh, Warsaw the capital city. This new dynasty, uh, the Vasa dynasty, uh, hails from Sweden, and they still have some interests in Sweden. They hope to uh, take back power in their old country. So they want to be a little bit closer to Sweden, and naturally they want something that is more or less halfway in between uh, the two old capitals of, uh, of Poland and uh, the Grand Duchy of Lithuania, respectively, so Krakow and, and Vilnius. So uh, the decision is taken for, for Warsaw to become uh, the capital city. Uh, this is really a, a great time for, for Warsaw. And in general, it's the 16th century is the so-called golden century of Poland. Um, there is uh, the first permanent bridge that is built um, in, in Warsaw at the end of the 16th century. Uh, unfortunately, it lasts only for around 30 years or so in 1603. Uh, there is a huge ice flow on the Vistula River that uh, completely uh, destroys the bridge. And later on, they only build these uh, temporary uh, uh, pontoon bridges. Uh, the, the first real permanent bridge, uh, again, is built uh, at the end of the 18th century in 1776, if I remember correctly. Uh, but, uh, but by then, uh, Poland will soon be partitioned. and. Uh, the bridge that has been built is destroyed by the occupiers in 1795. So Warsaw is again left without a bridge for another couple of decades. Uh, if we look at uh, the 17th century, you could say that it starts off quite well for, for the Poles, uh, at least up until the, the Swedish uh, deluge, uh, which starts in 1655. Um, and then the Swedish troops, they, they take Warsaw, uh, and so does the Transylvanian troops and Brandenburgian troops that uh, the Swedes are, uh, in many cases, allied with. Uh, so Warsaw does suffer uh, some destruction uh, in connection with that. Previously, there was also a, a great fire of 1603 that also destroyed uh, large parts of the city, um, but uh, the city is rebuilt. So much of the architecture of Old Town and the New Town hails back from uh, the 17th century, uh, either uh, rebuilt after the Great Fire or uh, after the, uh, the Swedish deluge. Uh, the foundations of, of Warsaw's Old Town, though, uh, the, those survived. So now there is this museum that they have opened in, uh, at, the, at the square in, in, in Old Town that you can go a few meters below ground and, and see these foundations that are even older and dating back to the uh, 14th, 15th and, and 16th uh, century. Uh, but this architecture that we see today naturally was uh, built after the Second World War, rebuilt, but it was rebuilt just as it was um, in the mid 17th century or so. Um, Warsaw has still a couple of more attractions that uh, appear in, in the 17th century. Uh, the famous King uh, John Sobieski, uh, internationally probably best known for uh, his uh, prowess as a military leader and uh, especially um, him lifting the siege of Vienna, uh, of Vienna yeah. in 1683. Um, a few years before that, in 1677, he starts building this grand palace outside of, of Warsaw, but today it is included in Warsaw, the so-called Vilanov Palace. 
uh, a great baroque uh, style palace uh, that were, many would say is the equivalent of uh, Versailles for 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 yes, Warsaw. Yes. It's not Versailles, not, really. No, no, <laughs> but, because of course Versailles is actually it's huge, unique. Yes. huge. Yes, in in comparison. Mm. But yes, the idea is, mm. is very similar. But you visited the the Villanov Palace, or yes, you've yes. only had a, no, a look from I, outside. I, no, I visited. Yes, yes. Uh, it it is uh, yes. It, it's no Versailles, but uh, for for Warsaw and and, and the vicinity. It is, uh, when it comes to Baroque architecture, certainly something that is uh, worth uh, visiting. Adam, as usual, the clock is defeated. I'm just going to have to ask you to pause there, but we will pick it up next time. There we are. I've interrupted Adam almost in mid-sentence, but we will pick up the story next time on Poland Daily History, so please join us then. In the meantime, thank you for watching.